Video game giant, former Oculus CTO, and Meta's most important VR consultant, John Carmack, has decided to leave Meta. And just a reminder, Meta bought Oculus back in 2014 for a reported $2 billion. Here is John's full statement. I resigned from my position as an executive consultant for VR with Meta. My internal post to the company got leaked to the press, but that just results in them picking a few choice bits out of it. Here is the full post, just as the internal employees saw it. This is the end of my decade in VR. I have mixed feelings. Quest 2 is almost exactly what I wanted to see from the beginning. Mobile hardware, inside-out tracking, optional PC streaming, 4K-ish screen, and cost-effective. Despite all the complaints I have about our software, millions of people are still getting value out of it. We have a good product. It is successful, and successful products make the world a better place. It all could have been a bit faster and been going better if different decisions had been made, but we built something pretty close to the right thing. The issue is our efficiency. Some will ask why I care how the progress is happening as long as it's happening. If I'm trying to sway others, I would say that an org that has only known inefficiency is ill-prepared for the inevitable competition and or belt tightening. But really, it is the more personal pain of seeing a 5% GPU utilization number in production. I am offended by it. John adds a footnote here with an edit saying, I was being overly poetic here as several people have missed the intention. As a systems optimization person, I care deeply about efficiency. When you work hard at optimization for most of your life, seeing something that is grossly inefficient hurts your soul. I was likening observing our organization's performance to seeing a tragically low number on a profiling tool. Now back to the rest of his statement. We have a ridiculous amount of people and resources, but we constantly self-sabotage and squander effort. There's no way to sugarcoat this. I think our organization is operating at half the effectiveness that would make me happy. Some may scoff and contend we are doing just fine, but others will laugh and say half, ha, huh, I'm at quarter efficiency. It has been a struggle for me. I have a voice at the highest levels here, so it feels like I should be able to move things, but I'm evidently not persuasive enough. A good fraction of the things I complain about eventually turn my way after a year or two passes and evidence piles up, but I have never been able to kill stupid things before they cause damage or set a direction and have a team actually stick to it. I think my influence at the margins has been positive, but it has never been a prime mover. This was admittedly self-inflicted. I could have moved to Menlo Park after the Oculus acquisition and tried to wage battles with generations of leadership, but I was busy programming and I assumed I would hate it, be bad at it, and probably lose anyway. Enough complaining, I'm wearied of the fight and I have my own startup to run, but the fight is still winnable. VR can bring value to most of the people in the world and no company is better positioned to do it than Meta. Maybe it actually is possible to get there by just plowing ahead with the current practices, but there's plenty of room for improvement. John then signs off by saying this, make better decisions and fill your products with give a damn. I feel like after watching John's now final special Q&A at Connect 2022 this past fall, we pretty much could have seen this coming. What are your thoughts? Is Meta digging themselves a hole or do they have it under control? I know personally I'm going to miss his open and honest reviews of Meta and their progress in the VR industry and what's going on behind some closed doors. Finishing up here, I wanted to give a shout to a deal you might be interested in. One of my favorite accessories for the Quest 2 are the tailor-made prescription lenses that come from VR Wave. Starting today, you can get $15 off any prescription order on their website as part of their special holiday sale running until December 31st. So screw trying to fit your glasses into your headset and go with the magnetic snap-on lenses from VR Wave that can fit your prescription and protect your lenses that are on your Quest. On top of that, you can save $5 on other Quest accessories like their carrying case, face cover, and halo strap. Visit vr-wave.store to save that $15 and grab your pair of lenses by filling out the online form with your prescription and you can get them shipped anywhere worldwide. Yes, you are correct, this is sponsored, but I use their lenses and I believe in the quality of products that come from VR Wave. So if you're interested, go save some money and I'll catch you in the next quickie. Bye.